Well, gaming is now larger than movies, also television in terms of revenue, and it is growing. And with me to talk about the gaming industry is uh, the founder and the president of Enthusiast Gaming, uh, Menasha Kestenbaum. So great to have you here. Thank so you. I was telling you I have a 10 and a 12 year old, so I kind of feel like through osmosis, I just know what's going on in gaming. Everybody who doesn't play games yeah. has a, a child or a child's uh, nephew, niece yeah. who plays, yeah. so everyone gets it from somewhere. Yeah. So you were telling me that you started playing games when you were six yeah. and then went on to just found a gaming company. I just fell in love with the industry. I fell in love with gaming. And then what I discovered was a lot of friends and a community that I, that I found online. And that became kind of what we wanted to live and breathe as a company was becoming the place, the destination for gamers who want to belong as part of a community. Um, and we grew from nothing to 200 million gamers a month. Wow. I mean, that's amazing. And gaming is, I was telling you, it's kind of an easy place to get interest. <laughs> it feels like there's, and it's a digital age, it's young people, they're kind of used to being on the internet, so it's just custom made for that. Yeah, it's actually, it's a very exciting industry right now. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of innovation, there's a lot of things that right. just bring a lot of positive feelings, right? It's, it's not like selling microwaves where it's just a neutral thing just yeah. to do point A to point B, or, mm -hmm. you know, this is something that actually engages people's passions. There's careers coming out of it. There's yeah. schools doing scholarships. It's, yeah. it's a really exciting time right now. It is. So, um, so Enthusiast Gaming is kind of like a Facebook for gamers, right? You don't yeah. make games. You're more like bringing gamers together. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So actually making games and publishing them has been around for decades mm -hmm. now. That's not new. What's new is the Internet has brought people together, and there's this hundreds of millions of people who are connecting in a community-like fashion around the gaming. And that, that's what we decided to try and become, is that we're not going to cater to the games. We're going to cater to the gamers and provide them those destinations. Okay. So you know, my blog I started back in 2011 for Nintendo fans became a place for hundreds of thousands of gamers who love Nintendo to connect with like-minded people. And then we started finding other gaming sites that were similar, authentic, grassroots, and we started aggregating them, acquiring them, and kind of becoming just this mm -hmm big platform of lots and lots of communities where gamers can connect. So is this a website I could go to? Yeah, what is this, it? What is, is this? Uh, if, you, if you include our YouTube channels and our websites, it's over a thousand right now. Okay, and I would go to what, enthusiastgaming.com or what is the actual site? Yeah, so if you were a Nintendo fan, you would go to nintendoenthusiast.com. Okay. If you were a Pokemon fan, you would go to bulbapedia.com. Okay. Uh, th there's a lot of different okay. sites, each catering to a specific type of gamer. Got it. And then when I'm on that site, I find other people who are passionate about the game, some news about games. Yeah. What would I find there? You're not going to find um, people with a journalism degree. Usually you're going to find other gamers who have create content that other people love and start kind of rising to the top and creating additional content and everyone commenting and debating and discussing and socializing, making friends. So it's mm -hmm. a lot of user generated content. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then do you um, sell advertising or data about the people? Or like how are you making money? Yeah. So companies like, uh, like a Nintendo or a telecom, you know, they'll come and say, how do we reach gamers? You know, people are shifting away from newspapers and a lot of the traditional media and they're finding things online, and this is kind of their natural point of access to the gamers. So mm -hmm. okay. uh, we provide that point of access. Now, I was looking at over your materials, and I saw something Luminosity Gaming. What is that? Yeah, so um, there's a large prestigious family in West Coast Canada uh, named the Aquilinis who own the NHL team there. They own a lot of real estate, and um, they started acquiring esports assets. That's related to competitive gaming, mm -hmm. which is a massive vertical Huge. within the space. Mm -hmm. Um, and what we focused on was the lifestyle gamer, whether it's esports competitive to anything else. But they had uh, acquired over $100 million in assets of teams competing at the highest levels with massive fan bases of celebrities on social media. Um, and essentially, they approached us, and they were about to go public. And we had just gone public last October on the Toronto Stock Exchange and said, why don't we merge forces? We'll bring access to capital, a lot of management resources, because I was just a guy out of his basement who created a blog and, you know, kind of learned how to wing it and create things mm -hmm. on the fly and built, uh, you know, a nice <laughs> healthy team of 200 people or so yeah. um, within a few years. But they had the capital, they had the backing, they had the, they could open doors that we could never open. So we merged um, a few weeks ago to create the largest esports and gaming focused company, publicly traded company. Okay. Um, and now we're trying to move over from... Um, Toronto Stock Exchange to the U.S. Okay. So. Well, I was noticed. I was watching the League of Legends, a little bit of that, yeah. 
um, their World Esports Gaming Championship. Yeah. And that is like every bit as produces a Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable how much money and just, you know, huge arenas yeah. and fans. And I mean, it is a huge thing. Yeah. I, I mean, we actually have, we have many teams. One of our teams actually just competed in the grand finals for a $1.1 $1 .1 million prize yeah. just this past weekend in Philadelphia. It filled out Wells Fargo Arena. Mm. Um, and the production was, you know, on par with anything, you know, yeah. whether it's a music concert or a sports uh, event. Uh, so, you know, we, we ended up coming in second place, our team, the Titans, so we only won 600 grand. But, like, the prize money and the, yeah, no, the fans watching, there's to sneeze at. Tens, yeah. tens of millions of people watching online. Yeah. Great to hear about Enthusiast Gaming. Uh, welcome to the NASDAQ. Great to have you here, Manisha. Thank you. Okay. And thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.